President Buhari says he is not afraid of a free, fair and credible election in 2019. The president chose China to make this statement while interacting with the Nigerian diaspora. He also pledged that the INEC and security agents would allow eligible Nigerians to vote in the next general elections to freely elect candidates of their choice. So why does Mr. President keep bringing this topic up? Why is this so important to him? Um, some people are saying that he ought not to have made the, the statement in, uh, in, in uh, China or in any other country for that matter. Uh, that statement ought to have been made in Nigeria. But don't forget the fact that that statement was made uh, within the precincts of uh, the Nigerian um, embassy in China. He made that statement within the Nigerian embassy. So the Nigerian embassy in China is also regarded as, the, as Nigerian soil, though in uh, China. So the issue, we should not bother ourselves with the promise the president made. We should bother our promise is in, uh, 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 our, our worry should be whether he will be able to fulfill that promise against the backdrop of what had happened in the past. We asked the APC why the president had to speak about this to Nigerians in China. The president met with the, uh, the Nigerian community in China. So the Nigerian community in China wanted to know what's going to happen back home during the election. So the president need to tell him, definitely it's going to be a free and fair election. That's why you can see that the party is also introducing a direct primaries that will accommodate everybody. Also, if President Buhari is not afraid of credible polls in 2019, then which politicians have reasons to fear? The, st the statement he made there is his own opinion. It all depends on we Nigerians to decide who we are going to vote for 2019. If his performance is okay with us, we'll vote for him. But if his performance is not okay with us, we can't vote for him. So he's, he's free to make his own statement over there, since we have uh, freedom of speech. And we have been seeing all these kind of things every time, every year, that the election is going to be free and fair. To me, I don't think the election will be free and fair. So him saying there was go is going to be a free and fair election, I, I doubt, because APC will do anything by any means to come back. Uh, for me, that is a welcome development because it has been the cry of Nigeria and the advocate of Nigeria that we should have free and fair election in this country. Because we discovered that in other country there's free and fair election. And when you elect the people, your choice or person, you know, you believe in that person, first of all, to make sure the person is there to give you what you want. As 2019 draws near, the fight between aspirants intensifies. President Buhari came into power because the public saw him as an incorruptible man who was going to wage war on corruption. Perhaps his only chance at winning in 2019 is to insist that his government stands for free and fair elections and he remains committed to the war on corruption.